Okay, hello, welcome back. This is um, the Sarajevo 6. We're doing the second contract with the Enforcer. Um, so a couple things for your information. I forgot to show what my score was on the last one. I got four out of five hitmen. I lost a point because the body was discovered. And um, you might also want to concede that I lost a point because I restarted partway through this. Um, and in the spirit of full disclosure, this is actually my second run through with the Enforcer because I got it all started, ready to go, and I uh, realized I forgot uh, to bring along an item I needed. So I'm <laughs> restarting this again, and we'll see what happens. But let's uh, get on to um, the Enforcer, the briefing for the Enforcer. Welcome back, 47. I trust you found your time in Paris successful. The agency has located your second target in the Italian coastal town of Sapienza. We have learned that Gary Lunn, formerly known as the Enforcer for the Sarajevo 6, is working at the Ether Corporation Biolab, supervising high-level security. This is an exclusive holiday destination, 47, and the agency would discourage a public elimination. Although the target was part of the same Cicada paramilitary unit as Scott Sarno, there is no indication that he has learned of his colleague's death. Lunn is likely to be found in the luxurious Villa Caruso or the Ether Biolab. You should expect access to these areas to be restricted and the laboratory security to be particularly heavy. I'll leave you to prepare. Good luck. Okay, so that is the, um, yep. Background the Enforcer. He basically spends all of his time in the Ether Bio Lab, which is the most secure location on this map. And um, so let's go into planning. Um, I forgot to bring her along the lockpicks, so that's why we're going back in there doing that. So, and uh, I I've decided as as part of my plan, I'm either going to eliminate um, all the all the Sarajevo 6 with the uh, sniper's rifle or the uh, explosive ducks. Um, with one exception, and we'll get to that whenever we get to that exception. And, um, yep, that's what I need. My uh, plan, if it can be called that, is to infiltrate the uh, bio lab and use the sniper's rifle to uh, get him. I do have the explosive duck as well, so if something goes wrong, I can always use the duck. But we'll get into uh, today's topic which, dealing with kind of the morality of uh, taking a human life, we're going to take a quick look at, well, quick, I'm, we're going to take a look at when it's appropriate to do a human, take a human life. And um, there's basically three times when it is an appropriate action to do, is to take a human life. Um, Welcome to Sapiens, so we'll listen to Diana for a second. The biolab is located in the caves beneath Villa Caruso, with direct access from within the mansion. Good luck. All right, I'm gonna need it. So yeah, three. There are three things that are considered appropriate in taking a, a life. Um, you, you you gotta have the explosive golf ball. I'm just just have to say that. Um, one in defense of yourself. Two in defense of someone else. Or three. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button there. Three in defense of community. And we're going to focus on self defense of self or self-defense, as it's commonly known as. Um, <clears throat> so self-defense, in if I remember the legal terminology, is uh, when you're faced with uh, an imminent threat to yourself and you have no other option but to take the life of the person who's doing it. Um, that's not, I believe that's the legal definition, although it's not perfect, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, but yeah, it, that's the very, the basic, a basic legal definition of it. Now, definition of act, of imminent or active threat is, um, when, say, somebody has a gun and is, is shooting at you, or a knife and is uh, coming at you to assault you, that would be a direct threat. Good. Must mean threat. The 
or active threat. Now, a, a non-imminent threat would be, say, someone who is going to poison you. Now, you wouldn't be justified in just shooting a person who's going to poison you, legally speaking. And so there is a distinction made. You have other options if you know somebody's going to poison you. Whereas somebody coming at you with a gun, you, your options are limited. Now, in the legal system, um, you, it's very, very... <clears throat> you have to, you know, clearly have needed... Have had no other option but to kill the person in defense of your own life. And a lot of times you have to uh, justify that uh, killing that person. And this is especially true of people uh, such as police officers who it's part of their job to, you know, carry weapons and at times use Ma, these weapons. Out, and we've seen in, in the news a lot. Oh, hmm. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, I, I yeah, sorry, never really used that door. So, <clears throat> but my, my route takes me somewhere else. But yeah, police officers, we see in recent a lot recently of uh, police officers having to defend themselves and then news media saying it was unjustified and you going through a huge process or them going through a huge process of being judged by the public being saying that this was uh, politically motivated or racially motivated uh, killing of, of this person and when in the vast majority of the cases the police officer actually had little to no choice about uh, to take the life of the person, it was shown to be a very clearly a justified killing of, of someone who was going to kill them. Um, but there, but that illustrates just how much you have to, you know, be justified before you can say, "Oh, self-defense." So, yeah, I'm on the move now. So that the self-defense, you were justified in your self-defense. Now both these guys can spot me, so you have to get through here quickly. Okay, Whew. scary. And there's oftentimes a guy right up there. Okay, doesn't look like he's up there now. Okay. Ah, and it's unlocked. <laughs> okay, Whew. feeling the panic there. So... Yeah, so that's kind of a brief look at, at self-defense. Okay, somebody just saw me. That scared me. Oh, whew. But he just very briefly saw me, and so I am I think I'm okay. All right, now how do I get... I think I go over here. There's the speedboat. You can use that to exit as well. <clears throat> ah. Anyway, uh, there are a lot of laws and legalities that will show up if you have to uh, def kill someone in defense of yourself. And, yeah, oftentimes it, it may very well feel like it's not worth it to have uh, defended yourself. So, okay, here we are. See, total James Bond layer. I'm just saying, okay. So, yeah, a lot of people, pretty much everyone here can at the moment spot me. So, let's try and sneak through, and usually it's fairly deserted back here, so we're safe. Ooh, somebody nearly saw me there. Scary, and... So, ooh, I guess free soda, but... Ah, there we go. I want to destroy the evidence that I was here. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, evidence deleted. And I'm going to get to a higher location. I'm gonna put the Dr. Pepper away. Or Dr. Pep, sorry. And get up here. There's somebody up here, and yeah. Huh, I'm, I'm just getting very scared now. Okay. All right, get down and, okay. So. Go wait patiently for this guy to turn around. So I, I'm hoping that's uh, helpful to you and the whole self-defense in defense of yourself. Um, 
Now, there, there's another concept to self-defense that uh, you learn if you've ever taken any sort of combat or even just boxing classes, and that is um, essentially the uh, preemptive um, attack. Uh, and uh, now, th the thing about preemptive... Uh, the uh, sniper's rifle out. The thing about preemptive is it's generally not accepted as a uh, legitimate um, defense you, to preemptively kill someone. Um, it's better to, to kind of say he, uh, pull, he tried to kill me, he tried to shoot me, he was going to shoot me is less of a defense than he was shooting at me. In, in legal eyes, it's harder to justify that, saying like, well, I shot him before he could shoot me. Does not sound very good at all. So we're going to patiently wait for him to move into a place where I can get a clear shot at him. Okay, he's going. So, there he is. Oh, he's... Ooh. That wasn't good. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Zoom. There we go. I could not remember how to zoom there. Okay, wait. Let's try this again. Okay. We are... Got a clear shot of him. Okay. The money has been wired to your account. Alright, so... I've got this right. I should be okay. Whew. Very scary. So good, nice headshot there, and I'm going for the plane. So that guy can spot me. And I, yeah, Whew. scary. Let's oh, no. oh, see. Oh, no. Everybody's freaking out. Okay, I think I'm good. Whew. Um, so there is a uh, an interesting thing I came across a while ago about self-defense and about defending yourself, and it's, I'm going to call it the uh, rule of three. Um, so when somebody attacks you, you say, comes up and, you know, pushes you or even hits you, um, stand still, except being hit for, um, where, where did I lose the three? Ah, no notice kills and no bodies found. Darn it. So I got three out of five hitmen. But yeah, the first time they, they hit you, just take it, accept it, second time, take it, accept it, third time, you know, take the hit, be hit, allowed to be hit, and then if they try to hit you a fourth time, then react, and that generally solves a lot of uh, problems uh, that you might le later legally have. Now, obviously, if somebody has a gun and is actively shooting at you, I don't recommend you get shot three times or stabbed by a knife three times. Um, if it's obvious they're about to kill you, that's a different situation. But if they're just, you know, hitting or pushing you, it's it's a good self-defense rule to allow yourself to be hit uh, three times and then uh, the fourth time to react. Um, anyway, that's uh, a look at self-defense, and that is the uh, second um, Sarajevo 6 target. Um, like and subscribe if you liked it, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll like it. Uh, come back next time, we will do the uh, third Sarajevo 6 mission, which is... Uh, Marrakesh, if I'm remembering the order right. Ah, I always forget things like that. Anyway, you guys, uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.